Now, Minnesota, well, I'm going to pick on the demographer here in a minute, but, uh, but I want to go back to just one briefly, uh, one issue that I know that our viewers are concerned about. Uh, the Minnesota economy has traditionally been viewed as um, containing a very heavy component of ag-related businesses. Mm -hmm. And Cargill, I think, might be the largest um, agricultural corporation in the world. Um, if not, it's a contender for that crown. Um, and so does that, is that relatively insulated, uh, food being relative, uh, necessity relatively insulated from these, these economic conditions, or does, is that variable as well? Uh, that's definitely variable, and it's not insulated, because a lot of food, food products that are produced in the United States are exported. Mm -hmm. And so the strong U.S. dollar and the slow global growth definitely hits um, agricultural, uh, but the producers of agricultural commodities, corn and soybeans, um, and the producers of food, because uh, that food gets, uh, gets consumed in other countries. So that's a vulnerability. So when I say, for instance, the manufacturing sector in Minnesota has slowed down, um, there are two pieces to the manufacturing sector. There's the durable sector, so that's durable mm -hmm. stuff like um, transportation equipment and computer equipment, medical equipment. Um, and then there's the non-durable sector, and so that's textiles. And Minnesota, it's food. So then, so food production, food processing, that's a manufactured good. And so that's one of the um, sectors that is watching closely what's going on in other countries. Uh, I, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, he said, as he put her on the spot, but do you, do you know what percentage right offhand of the Minnesota economy is agricultural related? And is it more or less than it's been in previous years? So um, it... I'd have to I'd have to pretty carefully define agriculture related. See, I, I get to ask these questions vague; they're not yeah, well defined. Sure. So you answered however you think is appropriate. So, a couple of things I can say: I can say that um, if you look at the distribution of employment across industrial sectors for the state of Minnesota, it looks that picture looks a lot like the U.S. picture. Mm -hmm. So, we have a diverse economic base. We are not overly dependent on any particular volatile sector. So, it's not we're not as dependent on agriculture as, say, Iowa. Mm -hmm. or South Dakota. So we have a more diverse economic base than they do. Um, with regard to direct agricultural production, so working on farms, what mm -hmm. Susan pointed out about the flatlands losing, mm -hmm. losing people because you can put machinery in place, over time we need fewer and fewer people in order to produce food. And mm -hmm. so employment on farms is something that has declined over time as technology has taken over. But one of the things that um, adds to Minnesota's uh, resilience in, with regard to our uh, diverse number of industry sectors is that we have all of these, lar as you mentioned Cargill, we have large corporations that process that food and process those commodities into, some, into another product. And so um, that, that, that non-durable manufacturing sector, that food processing sector, that's an important one for us.